Hey guys, what's up? Rajat from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, this is Element 3D Class 5 where I'll show you how you can create this amazing render inside of After Effects by using Element 3D. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, this is After Effects version 2020 and guys, as I noticed that you guys already loved my 4 previous Element 3D tutorials. So that's why I decided let's continue the series for upcoming more classes where I'll teach you more about in details, depth knowledge, all about Element 3D. So uh, first of all, what you have to do, you have to take a new composition. So click here, new composition. Let's name it like a element because we all know element. So the resolution is like 1920 by 1080p. Press OK. So right now the composition is set. Let's take a right click new and then solid. This will be our BG. So name it like BG. Resolution obviously same. Just press OK. So this is our BG right now. So let's go to FX by presets. Take a ramp and just double click. So it will come here and go here from linear and click here. Click in between and move it center and this one click anywhere and move it outside like this so it feel like it's a depth but what you have to do you just have to swap this color so press swap colors so right now both colors are swapped now let's change this color to a little bit blue like this and let's make it blue but darkest blue like this not fully black okay so this will be our bg so bg is done so guys uh, before moving forward i just want to tell you that if you guys still not subscribe my channel vfx world just go and subscribe and if you are still not follow my last four previous elementary tutorials link is in description and you can see in front of your screen right now so just go and check that all those tutorials are just stunning okay so first of all the bg is done and then right click new Again, a solid, name it like element, uh, sorry, E-L-E-M-E-N-T, element 3D, and then just press OK. So this will be our element 3D layer. So then right click, video copilot, element. So the element 3D will popped up here. Okay, after that, we have to go our scene setup. The scene setup is our element 3D scene setup. Those who guys not familiar with element 3D, I just why I suggest go and watch my last tutorials. Okay, so from here, I'm taking to motion design to pack. And over there, you can see there are so many things and I select this crystal clusters. Okay, over there, you can see there are lots of crystal clusters are there, but I choose only one from here. Okay, so this is my uh, main thing. See, this is already pre-made, but we have to make it more realistic, more accurate. Okay, so uh, first of all, this is actually looking really nice. So just press OK. And uh, after that, it will come here like this. Let's take a new camera like this, a new camera. Let's make it like 35 mm, no depth of field, just press OK and let's move it little zoom. Yep, this is fine. Now go to element 3D again because we have to do lots of things here. Okay, so uh, first of all, we are right now in element 3D and what you have to do, I just take a, another crystal cluster like this, if you notice here and let's scale it down. Okay, so let's scale it down from center. Sorry, okay, it's actually getting so high. So that's why I'm just make it down like this. So it's in between of this, but you can't see, right? So what do you have to do? You have to change this thing. So go to presets, go to physical, and I have this golden one. So double click. So right now this golden one is visible. It's look really uh, like pro, right? So after that, I want some uh, lines on that base one. So just turn off this previous one. Right now we have only this, the golden part. After that, go to this, any of this one material and go down, down, down. And over there, you can see there's an option called wireframe or else you can directly click here. So it will go directly through the wireframe. So just enable this wireframe. You can see, you can see the wireframes are visible right now. Take, okay. If you want only wireframe, then you can click the lines only so that only lines are visible. I know you can't see this. So just make here, make it red. Now see only the wireframes are right now visible, but I want both. So let's make it solid plus wireframe but the colors are very black so it will not visible from outside right so let's change the color to let's make it green or something like that yep this is fine but the lines are very thick so i have to make it a little smaller so from here let's turn this width to 0 0.8 okay now this is fine this will look really amazing okay fine so this one is done so just turn off and turn this on Okay, this is our main crystal cluster. Now we have to change our environment. So let's, I'm selecting any of this by default environment from here because I want a diffuse soft light to the entire uh, model. So uh, let's select uh, this one or else, yeah, 
okay this one is fine this reflections are uh, looking really amazing so this is fine if you want to change anything on this environment go and then turn on this brightness saturations and the contrast as well okay this is fine press ok now the main thing is our background is blue so that's why you don't have to select this yellow kind of thing you have to take any of this blue so i decided let's take any i any of this from here so for this actually this one is pretty good see the bluish is really amazing so from here actually i change this little bit bright contrast it and just press ok okay fine so right now our environment is seted just press ok so right now we have this with a pretty interesting resolution see it's looking really amazing okay so right now we have to create a custom texture which will be glow okay so how we can create that so right click new a solid name it a texture press ok and right click free compose and move all attributes and name it only texture underscore pre comp okay now it's all in this pre composition so double click now inside of this turn off this layer go to project i have a map over here just drag and drop it like this so right now we have this square kind of uh, material now we want this actually a box okay so let's make a bigger okay let's make it yeah fine okay so right now we have our own texture let's make it more scaled yes fine now it's fine if you want you can scale it more but in my case this is fine now increase it in like this direction okay so now it's all scaled to this frame now what i have to do this is not a complete red this is a very dull kind of thing so just go here right click color correction overhead tint and then make all to this red so that right now it's actually being solid red okay now go to this element and turn off this layer now go to this element 3d layer and after that go to this custom layers over there you can see there's an option called custom texture map so just click here and select this texture pre comp layer and then just press ok after that go to the scene setup again now the magic will be happening okay so uh, first of all what you have to do just go to this crystal cluster go here any of this material now see we have this uh, any models here so let's turn off see this is our main core okay and uh, this is our small details this is our smaller more detail and this is our main things okay so what i have to do this is our smaller and this is our bigger so click here go to this illumination tab and from here check this custom layers okay when you check this press ok after that go down to this illumination part and just increase this intensity like this so now you can see those lines are visible from here it's looking really amazing now if you want to change anything you can do it so how i'll tell you so just go to this main model go to this uv map over there see you can have so many options like uv from here box now see it's changed from here there are so many options like box repeat okay plain x and y but i suggest uv is good enough so that it will cover the entire area but i don't want this offset so let's change this offset so now it will be increased and it will grow to this point okay now it's fine really cool amazing and after that you have to just turn on this one so that it will also be visible from this so right now when it's done just press okay so right now we have this one it's looking really amazing okay then right click new a lights because you have to create some lights so let's take a parallel light turn off this cast shadow then just press okay so what happened when, when you click this parallel light go to this p just make this all like 10 by 10 let's make it 10 and then 10 and after that shift a for point of interest and then also change it to 10 10 and 10 so now what happened the point of interest and positions are right now in same place okay so first of all let's increase the positions now see you can see the light from here make it to the quarter so you can see the exact light movement now drag this light to the center and start moving your light positions like this okay so let's move your positions a little bit okay fine and after that change the directions now what happened we have one uh, we have this setup and now i have to create one more light which will be our point light so let's make it a point light colors should be let's make it a little more bluish kind of thing and then just press okay when you press ok point light will be here change the positions of this point light so that it can be visible on this reflections 
now i want to be a little bit down so that the down from here it will be reflected here okay cool but the reflections are too much see this is the main reflections so that's why I decrease the intensity of this to 145 is fine enough now if this is done now our next part which is the animation part now this is actually done now go to element again and we have to do our second step okay this is the most trickiest part so this one is done right now what i have to do we have to take another group make it down and from here take it to the group 2 and go to this motion design to pack again go to this crystal cluster and select one more this okay now i want what just go here i have so many uh, like textures here so from here i'm taking this options here so it's look like very scientific kind of see it's looking really amazing we have so many textures so i want to be this okay now what happened go to here click any of this and go to this elimination tab and check that custom layer okay and after that increase this intensity like this so it will visible from here as well and go to this crystal cluster and again move this offset to the horizon parts okay so this is actually done right now if you notice it's looking really amazing and after that just press ok so right now what happened we have two models one is in group one see both are right now visible because one is in group one and one is in group two now we have to animate this so first of all decrease this to quarter and let's go to this animation engine okay after that turn on this okay fine now when you turn on this enable right now the second one will be gone see right now is happening and right now is nowhere now start group is group one and end group is group two now if you turn this intensity of animation increase now see it will gone and the second one will popped up see it's really smooth okay if you want to change the smoothness if you decrease the smoothness what happened it will suddenly changed now see it will suddenly change so it's not needed so if you increase the smoothness to 100 percent it will be more smoother like this see it's more smooth okay if you want to change it randomly you can make it the random to 60 percent now what happened if you have multiple uh, like points here multiple models here the randomness will be work but in this case we have two that's why the randomness will not work so just decrease this and if you want to this type of this animation you have this one easy is easy in easy out so let's make it to easy in so what happened when you increase this animations it will be like this see it will be like this but i want to be in both sides so that's why i'm taking to this easy okay after that you have this group finish group start group and deformation bend start group like it will be bend on the start group or finish so there are lots of options so don't go in depth no needed after that the animation type is directional radial random if you want to radial it will be like this see so make it directional so it's better so now it's happening it's good okay fine after that we have to do our animation so make is as a like eight second is good press n right click trim to comp area and let's start our animation so first of all what you have to do just go here first frame click animation bar and uh, let's press u on your keyboard to this element layer so that you can see the keyframes now go to the last frame again click this so right now our first frame and the last frame are right now same so go to this in between part and after that turn on this so what happened it's going 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 and it's changing but we don't want to be changed in suddenly so go here okay like in between like this and then just press this and make it to zero so now what happened in this area it will not being changed and from here to here it will be changed and after that i want to be in the same area so make it like this so now what happened make it zero now see this area is not animated go down visible go down again to back and make it like this so now it will feel like it will be loop because our first frame and the last frame right now same okay so the both animations should be in the same mode so click here and press f9 so all are right now smooth see it's looking really smooth now we have to rotate this a little bit so how you can do the rotations this is very easy so first of all what you have to do go to this group one go to this particle look you can see there's a particle rotation over here you can rotate it it like this okay so first of all go to this first frame click here rotation panel and go to this last frame okay and then make it to one so now how of what happened when you go like this it will be visible from him now we want to this rotation to the second one as well so same thing go to this group two particle look particle rotation 
again go to the first frame click here go to the last frame and then just make it one so it means it's rotating in 360 so let's play it let's see the loop will happening or not and the make sure guys the rotation will be smooth if you make it very fast then the feel will not come so that's why whatever we will do it will be very less but very smoother so that you can feel it now see our loop is completely done because all of you did our first frame and our last frame are right now same okay so our animation is right now done let's make it more precise so go to this first frame make it full raise and after that let's do some settings change so go here from this render settings if you zoom it a little bit okay i can see it properly now go to this ambient occlusion turn on this ambient occlusion and uh, after that increase this intensity to like this let make it yep yeah, this is fine radius to be like two and if you want to change this ambient occlusion tint color you can change it from here now see it's getting tint like blue blue tint but i don't want this i want a little darkish kind of tint so let's make it yeah this is fine and go to this environment and from here if you change your tint so it will be feel on your complete models now see it's look more realistic the blue is more realistic like uh, your it's actually in the same space okay so this is our basic tint mode okay so let's make it like this this press okay and after that increase this gamma so that these areas are looking really sharp and exposure a little bit now see it's exposed and this is fine now in not increases too much so let's make it to one again but the thing is looking really proactive so make like it's make it like 1.5 yes this is fine okay and now if you move to this option you can see this is also being reflected by this so let's rotate this environment a little bit more so that the hard light will be gone now see this hard light are right now gone now you can increase this gamma to let's make it two yeah this is fine okay so first of all let's make it fit to screen after that very simple things just duplicate this element and go here output from here composite to eliminations now see only red ones are visible now i from here i'm just make it a glow but i don't want a basic glow i have this trap code star glow so just drag and drop what happened you can see there are so many options here presets here see there are so many presets so i just what i do from here lightness to i'm taking it to red so only red ones are eliminate from this nowhere it will be eliminated here so just heck i'm just a electric cross so this will be really amazing now make it to screen or let's make it to what you can say okay from here just make it to lighten now you can see these are visible but if you don't want this electric glow you have so many other presets see it's actually look really amazing but in my case let's make it to electric x and increase this light strokes to like 80 and no sorry so decrease this to let's make it like fine okay so now it's looking really amazing and if you move forward you can see the same options are right now reflected here as well okay cool now we have to make our depth of field so just what you have to do go ahead to this camera click here and go to this camera option turn on this depth of field and when you turn on the depth of field just make it to quarter and increase your aperture to let's make it like 50 and increase your depth of field to make it focus properly yes right now it's in focus let's make it full raise yeah now see this is almost in focus let's make it to 1200 0, 0, so that you can see that it's, it's in coming yep now it's fine these areas are right now in focus the background areas are out of focus so guys this is it for today i hope you really loved my tutorials a lot and if yes don't forget to subscribe my channel vfx world also follow us on our linkedin facebook instagram handles as well link is in description guys i'll make a q a session video very soon because we are about to cross 10k only 50 60 subscribers left in my channel so just go and type this comment box that what do you want to know anything 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 so just go and uh, type because i will make a q a i will see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking vfx world